Okay, you've done your abs uh, workouts. You uh, got your two minutes of rest in. Now you're ready to start your uh, barbell or your dumbbell workout. Uh, first exercise we have is called the uh, shoulder press. It, work out, it works out the shoulders. Uh, duh. Uh, always be careful when you're lugging these weights around. Don't just jerk them because you can hurt yourself. So make sure you get some support on yourself when you put them in position. Okay, you're seated on your bunk. Like I say, always clench your stomach in. And then you're going to raise these fast. And you're going to lower them slow and in control. Let's do eight of them. Okay, they say the whole idea of lifting fast is for explosive power. Now, I'm a trucker. I don't really know what I'd use explosive power for, um, except for maybe dollying down really fast or lightning speed shifting or something like that. But I don't know what else it could be for. But that's what they say. So I figure if I'm ever out of the truck, I need to play basketball or something, I'm good to go. All right, uh, 30 seconds. Well, probably about five now. And then we'll see you. And a few. Okay, you've had your 30 seconds of rest, so uh, next up is the squats. Everybody knows what a squat is, pretty much. Grab your weights. Now, you want your feet about shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed outward. Hold these weights any way you can that will enable you to keep your back straight. Some people say hold them in close to your body, some people hang them at their sides. I kind of prefer to put them up on my shoulders. And then move down slowly. Keep your back straight and you want your weight on your heels and fire up. <clears throat> That's three. Just really make sure you keep your back straight or you can really hurt yourself on these. Notice I have a little pause at the bottom. Make sure that I'm not bouncing. Bouncing is cheating. Don't cheat. All right, 30 seconds of rest. See you in a little bit. Okay, our next exercise is called the bent over row. Uh, it works on your back and your arms some, but it's mainly meant for your back. Grab your weights. Stand up. Feet about shoulder width apart. And you want to... Uh, clench your belly and then you're going to bend over and then you're going to lift these straight up uh, just like pistons again fast up and slow down so one two three And if those are too hard on some of you guys' backs, you can do a modified version, which is a one-arm row. You can put your leg on the bed, uh, hand on the bed, and just do it this way. Same type thing. Keep your elbow in close to your body. Uh, do eight of those on each side. Okay, this next exercise is called the tricep extension. It's one of those that I found that is like right between the weights. I can't do two of them. Uh, one's a little too light, but I'll just deal with it. Take your weight behind your head, elbows in close to your head, clench your gut, just lift straight up. Fast up, slow down. Try not to drop it on your head. Okay, 30 seconds of rest. Okay, this next one's called a wall sit. This one is one of the easier ones to do outside the truck. Um, you can, uh, the idea is to sit against a wall and you, uh, you can use your fairing or your running board or your tire or you know a pole in the parking lot or something like that. But inside the truck, I just kind of wedge my tailbone up against the uh, bunk here. 
and I'll do this for 30 seconds. And the whole idea of this is to have your legs, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Okay, just to have your legs uh, parallel to the ground, your toes out in front of your knees, um, so you're not, so they're not under your, your knees. And this is gonna burn like the Dickens, really uh, works your quadriceps. And make sure, that's the big muscles on top here. Um, always make sure when you come out of this exercise that you support yourself so you don't fall. You can really hurt your knees if you, you know, fall down, uh, let your butt slide down. So make sure you have something to pull yourself up with or push off the wall or something. Oop, 35 seconds. Woohoo! Uh, okay, gonna take your 30 seconds of rest. Okay, your next exercise is your basic curl. Uh, you can do your regular curls, which are your palms facing forward. I prefer to do ones that are called hammer curls just because uh, I just feel more comfortable with my wrists in a neutral position. So suck in your gut and start fast up. <clears throat> Slow down. It's very important to keep your body stiff and out of it. Out of the exercise, I mean. Don't use your body like this to jerk up. That's cheating, it's defeating the purpose, and why bother? And I've lost track of the count, so I'm going to call that eight. 30 seconds of rest. Okay, this next one is a combination. Uh, you combine two exercises into one to make it go faster. It's a shoulder shrug to build up your shoulders and a toe raise for your calves. So grab your weights, feet about shoulder width apart. Just let your weights hang. Suck in your chest, or not your chest, suck in your gut, and then lift up on your toes and roll your shoulders at the same time. Six, seven, eight. And that's one of your easier ones, so enjoy it. 30 seconds rest. Next up, we have a stiff leg deadlift. Um, the idea behind this one is to work your hamstrings, and you'll feel it back there for sure, and your back. This is when you really have to kind of dodge around your stuff. Like here, I'm going to be dodging my cooler over here and my duffel bag over here. Same type position, shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. Do not lock your leet knees on this one. You'll pass out and fall on your freaking face. Clinch in your stomach. And then you're going to go as far down as you can with the weights close to your body. And then you're going to fire up, clinching your butt when you do it. Don't let your arms come into play at all. And you'll really feel your hamstrings stretching on that one. Right at the bottom there when you get all the way down at the bottom. Okay, 30 seconds of rest. Okay, this next exercise is called the upright row. I threw it in here because it works your triceps, and that uh, tricep extension one, as I we mentioned, was using only one weight, so I went ahead and threw this one in. Feet shoulder width apart, tummy in, and then you're gonna raise these up to your chin. It really does help when you uh, lower them slowly. You'll notice a difference. If you're going to be doing this, you might as well get all you can out of it. 30 seconds of rest. We're almost done. <laughs> okay, this next one is my least favorite exercise of all. 
it's much easier outside because of the room required hits the lunge uh, thing is you're gonna have to lower your seats in order to be able to do this and you're gonna it's gonna take some dodging around with your weights a little bit I have to move all the way back with my feet on each side of the gear shift and hope when I come back up I don't catch a cornhole uh, again I'm dodging my cooler and my duffel bag uh, the idea is to step forward and step back knee almost touching the ground and when you do that both legs that counts as one it usually confuses me to do that so I usually just count each leg as one and double it so eight would be sixteen Six, seven. Make sure you keep your abs clenched during this one. And that one's the one that always gives me the jimmy legs and I can't hardly walk into the truck stop afterwards. So that's over. Only two more sets with them. <laughs> okay, this is our last one. Whew. At least if that's your last set. Uh, it's the last exercise of this set. So um, this one is a bench press combined with butterflies. The bench press works your uh, chest and so does the butterflies. I just combined them all in one move. It's not quite as effective inside the truck because you can't get your arms way back on the bench press. But hey, you got to do what you can do. If I'm outside of the truck, I'll just do push-ups on this one because there's, there's not a lot of ways you can do butterflies outside unless you bring a weight bench with you. And it's tricky to get in this position, so I scoot my butt way to the end of the thing. Don't try to lift these into, I just plant my elbows in and then start. Got sucked in. That's one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And be careful when you're getting out of that position. And now you can lay here and die. Like I said, if it's your last set, if it's not, you got two more sets, so you get two minutes of rest and then start your next set. <sighs> okay, well that about does it. I shouldn't have to tell you guys this, and I probably don't, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, if, uh, if you find this too hard or if it's just too much, take longer breaks between exercises or uh, Take longer breaks between your sets, or just don't finish a set. Just don't hurt yourself. And if you start to find yourself having bad form, you're going to hurt yourself. So uh, just don't do that. Uh, we need you out here on the road. Okay, so here's the final thing. You now know how to work out in your truck. It's not hard. It just takes a little motivation. So all you truckers out there who've got gut hanging out below your shirt, either buy a longer shirt or for Pete's sake just work out and then you won't have to worry about it because nobody wants to see that crap hanging out that's gross so quit it okay until next time peace out <laughs>